And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, the two one hundredths of an inch of rain that we actually did get yesterday evening. Well, that's the second driest October on record. Records go back to 1864. Uh, the driest 1874. We only had a trace for the whole month. The good news is we actually have a little bit of rain in the forecast as early as later tomorrow night. And speaking of tomorrow, it's a 66 degree day. You know, a pretty nice day overall. A lot of sunshine, a little patchy fog in the frost in the morning. Uh, some high mid-level clouds increasing later on in the day, but overall these are pretty nice fall temperatures, a little above normal. 65 at Fowler, mid-60s Flora, 63 Logansport, about 64, 65 at Galveston, and we'll be pushing 70 at Covington and Petersburg. Mind you, the normal highs for this time of year are about 57 to 63 now. Now tomorrow night's much warmer. Winds are out of the south. Lows only around 51 and late tomorrow night through Friday morning. At least some scattered showers and a couple thunder showers around and then a clearing trend in the afternoon. But the wind cranks up from the west, then the northwest. So we'll probably hit our high at 69 around two or three and then start to fall just a hair later on in the day. Mid 60s north, upper 60s to right around 70 as you go southward. All right, tonight it is clear and calm and you can see where the high is right here. It almost looks like the, the wind barbs are going in a circle here, a clockwise circle. So calm, clear conditions over the area makes the temperature fall pretty quickly. Here's some of the high and the mid-level clouds increasing later tomorrow. We cloud up pretty rapidly come tomorrow night. And then after 4 a.m., 3 a.m. roughly, uh, some scattered showers come in, a couple thunder showers. This is 8 o'clock in the morning Friday, and then they jet out of here by noon, and then you see the clearing trend afternoon and into the evening, and just a few clouds tomorrow night, followed by a beautiful, bright Saturday. Now, in terms of rainfall, you know, it's not like we're getting a big rain out of this late Thursday night, Friday morning. And most areas are going to get a tenth to maybe 15 hundredths of an inch. You can see that pretty consistent here from Lafayette, Monticello, over here in Carroll County, Logansport area, some places a hair less, but there'll be a couple areas that may get a little bit more than that. For example, up here from parts of Northwest Benton through Newton and Jasper County, and then down here in Montgomery County, those areas have the best shot at seeing quarter of an inch of rain, third of an inch of rain, perhaps even a couple spots more than that. Then the weekend is nice, but boy, do we warm up come early next week. Strong south to southwest winds, and warm temperatures, record warmth is possible. This will likely be an area of marginal to slight risk for severe. Mid next week, a little band of showers and storms here. This comes in in a weakening fashion on Thursday morning. Very late Wednesday night, Thursday morning that is. We may end up with a little bit of marginal risk for severe here. That's a one out of five on the scale for an isolated severe storm. But it does appear that the rain will get out of here by trick-or-treating. This is 530, the rain's out, and the good news is this could very well bring us half, six-tenths, three-quarters of an inch of rain. And before that, near record warmth, if not record warmth, but was still pretty high fire danger Tuesday and Wednesday. Winds howling out of the south and southwest. Again, gusting more than 35 miles an hour. We would tie the record Tuesday and break the record high on Wednesday. That record dating back to 1927. And mind you, our records for Greater Lafayette go back to 1864. 61 Saturday and Sunday. There's your 32, though, colder Sunday morning. But look at that warmth and the wind next week. Enjoy the fall color this weekend uh, where it peaks and also be peaking into next week because the pattern gets more active with a lot more wind. After any rainfall Thursday morning, perhaps some more rainfall and breezy conditions a week from this Saturday.